arteries and infiltrating the veins and when they infiltrate the veins they produce thrombophlebitis because in vein become inflamed we call it phlebitis and thrombus develop there we call it thrombophlebitis that will lead to stoppage of blood flow to many areas of the brain and even infarction can develop am i clear so the areas of again in early cases morphologically we will find neutrophils around the inflammatory cell around the blood vessel then we will find lot of neutrophils in the csf right in the csf then we will find eventually infiltrating into the walls of the blood vessel and eventually you may find lot of neutrophils have entered into what is this brain substance parenchyma in very advanced stages this is called what <coughs> cerebritis what is it cerebritis cerebritis and if it become chronic situation patient survive it may convert into abscess if it become encapsulated any question up to this even in some patient ventricles become inflamed and we say that there is ventriculitis right any question i know it was little complicated so now you will tell me the steps step number 1 is colonization step number 2 is migration through mucosa up to circulation. circulatory system say loudly number 3 is survival in circulation, circulation. number 4 is migration to csf, CSF. number 5 is survival and multiplication in csf, CSF. number 6 is release of Cytos. toxins number 7 is response by our system which makes a major damage which cells microglia astrocytes monocytes and uh, endothelial cell number 7 number 8 is release of cytokines and other toxic product number 8 they damage a lot number 9 is severe inflammatory response blood vessels dilate and increase permeability and lot of exudation protein rich and neutrophil team into all the csf what was this number 9 and number 10 is yes auto regulation is lost auto regulation is lost first blood flow increases and then decreases is that right and what is this number 10, 10. and number 11 is brain is undergoing edema what type of edema are there there is vasogenic edema there is interstitial edema and there is cytogenic edema and number 12 is raised intracranial pressure 13 is herniation 14th is eventually death command death right so here we stop today's lecture